Hey everybody, this is the Barton Musical Circuit switch resistor voltage controlled filter. Uh, the basic idea of how this works is there's a internal oscillator that runs at a fixed rate that's above the human hearing range and we have this frequency control is actually a pulse width modulation control for that oscillator. So it's adjusting the period of how much time that a switch is remaining open or closed. Uh, now the switch is in series with a resistor that's paralleled with another resistor that's going into our integrator in the filter section, or integrators in the filter section. So the amount of time that it's either open or closed is adjusting the perceived resistance uh, for the integrator. So uh, that is basically how it works. The switch uh, chip that we're using has four switches on it, so I decided the best use of that would be to do two state variable filters out of one chip with some op amps and capacitors and resistors and such. So our controls are frequency, which is the pulse width off the switch, uh, a modifier for that uh, that uses an external CV, which is this is the input for that, and then separate resonance controls for each of the two uh, filter sections. Uh, each filter has its own in a single input and then separate outputs for uh, high pass, band pass, and low pass. And then finally, we have a clock input. This allows you to use an external oscillator uh, instead of the internal one. And that's what makes the circuit, I think, really interesting and lets you get sounds that you can't get out of other filters. Um, at, there are uh, switch capacitor filters, which uh, also use clock inputs, but that works on a different principle than this. But that's, I think, what makes it a unique thing. So let's, I'm just gonna show you how it works as a basic filter right now, and then I'm gonna do another video showing you a patch using the clock in, and all right, so uh, we've got a saw wave going in here, and then let's just take the low pass output and turn this up. We'll turn that up a little more. So here we have the frequency turned all the way down, uh, you can adjust the resistors on the board to change the minimum frequency if you want it lower than this. And then I'll up the resonance. Alright. Now, let's try hearing that with the two filters in series with each other, which is one of the nice things about having two filters together. You can put them in series. So here we have a little bit of a fatter sound. And you can adjust the resonances. Let's hear that with a changing signal instead of just a steady signal. And then let's put some CV in to adjust that cutoff. And then let's try hearing something in parallel with that sound also, if this can reach over. So we're adding a little more band pass, and then I'm mixing that with my mixer here. All right. So that's a, a basic overview of how this filter works, and thank you for watching.
and uh, I'll have another video up showing a more complicated patch.